Hello everybody. Min Chris Flo pointed me to a blender tutorial where someone made a floral star ball. The link is in the description. I go to my presets and take out a pentagon only ball. If you don't have one of those in your presets and I'm afraid you have to go and have a look at my pentagon only ball tutorial. Okay, A key, then I go to polygon mode, tap to go out of sub D mode, then I select this polygon here, go to work plane, align work plane to selection. Uh, you might notice that I have Modo 901 since uh, yesterday, so I hope things go as well as they did in 701. So then I rotate this. Uh, that's probably minus 18 degrees. And then we can select uh, these two polygons invert the selection and delete. Then I select this one, Control X, Control V to separate them. And because Blender as well as 3ds Max have the possibility to bevel edges with a percentage and Modo unfortunately cannot do this. I have to do a pretty different approach to uh, the one shown in this Blender tutorial. So I bevel this and delete the inside polygon. Then I can select edges here and this one. Alt C, count of three. And I make it uniform. You can make it uh, sym symmetric depending on how wide you want to have these middle parts. Anyway, I do it this way. Now I can select these edges and press the P key, 3 to go to polygon mode. Take this middle polygon, go to polygon, spiky and make it spiky. Then I select the middle uh, vertex here, B for bevel with a round level of 0 and bevel it out, then edge mode, backspace, control Z, sorry, that was not intended, back, delete this one, then Alt C, count of three again, yes, and then I select two edges here, up arrow key, L key, and Alt 5, in my case, perfect circle from Seneca Menard. The link is in the description. And by the way, with uh, Modo 901, this is now integrated. It's this uh, radial align tool. Just uh, to say there are some nice things for us modelers. So back to work, all three. Then I rotate this and make sure my action center is origin and I rotate it 10 degrees, shift down arrow and rotate it 20 degrees and shift down arrow again and rotate uh, 30 degrees and leave the rest be. Okay, I usually would do something like this with uh, the swirl tool, but for some reason it doesn't work when we use, uh, when we have the work plane aligned in a strange angle. Anyway, I select two polys here, two in this edge, two in this edge, and two here, and L key, and there is one too many, 
and we want to keep the middle one and delete this. Okay, now I must uh, select this polygon and make it spiky, then select every second edge in here. and backspace delete it and I think I put another edge in here or C count of one and three and bring this to about here. Yes, looks good. Now I go to the side view, oh I forgot something, well anyway we will manage and I get rid of the grid with control 1 and select uh, these polygons on top here and make sure we have a snap to vertex, yes, then I can control copy control V E key but with the gizmo here uh, I should enable snapping and then I bring this down to so it is covering uh, the other polygon and we can now delete this guide polygon and this was by the way the only reason I kept it so I knew what angle I had to use and we must flip this one F key to flip now and now you see we don't have this spiral case here it I mean we could leave it like this it looks uh, quite pretty also but if you want to have a smooth flow uh, like uh, this shape, then we have to um, press the R key, make sure negative scale is ticked and then scale this minus 100% on the X, press the F key to flip again and now we have uh, this shape which we want. Now I can duplicate radial array count of 5 around Y action center origin click in the viewport good then I can go to vertex merge uh, fixed 100.1 millimeter good 30 have merged. I go to the side view, W key, bring this up before because I forgot to center it before. Hmm, probably about here. And then select everything, control copy, control V, E key, but action center origin again, and control rotate it. 180 degree make sure snapping is off then we can move this W to where we need like this okay and now we can again um, what happened here it's better don't need to see the grid and now we can go to vertex merge again fixed 0.1 30 have merged that's good okay now we can uh, reset the work plane and center this in the middle a key then I go to my empty mesh make a quad ball with uh, seven subdivisions bring it out from here, press the tab key and 
center this in all dimensions. D key twice, go back to here. And now we can press F11, constrain to background. Um, Sorry, F11 is no more constrained to background. I had to go to the help pages and uh, find it. It's now in the basic tab under mesh constraints. So constraint to background and I want to have double sided and uh, vector. Yes. Okay, and then I can bring this out by 2% two, two, two and now I think we can get rid of this mesh, press the D key once so we have a bit more of geometry and then we can thicken this. But first I select all this, press the control key and click on boundary here. Then assign selection set S1, go back to polygon mode, control Z, and then um, polygon thicken and thicken this and make sure the sharp thing is not ticked otherwise you will uh, produce a lot of unwanted geometry like so. Now we can press control again and boundary again go to select assign selection set S1 in add mode, OK, and now we can use this selection set and now we have all these edges selected and I can bevel this with uh, the square shape and I bevel it It's 0.25 millimeters seem to be okay. Yes, good. And now we are done. This is this uh, floral star ball. How we can do it in Modo. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it, take care and have fun modeling with Modo, see you some other time, bye bye.